All right, so I'm going to start off this weekly Monday morning guide series with two websites that are resources for Rogue Tech. The first one is Sarna.net. This is for all the, the lore and stuff like that. It, it has stuff to do with tabletop. It, you know, has, has interesting articles for all sorts of stuff. But the main reason I use it is if I'm interested in checking out a particular planet like Solaris, you can go and you'll see a map. And if you click it, it'll give you a close-up view where it'll show all the nearby planets. Um, the territory is not exactly um, consistent with either the Rogue Tech online or offline maps, but the position in the inner sphere is actually accurate. So you, you can see where all the great houses meet in the middle. That's Terra, so it's the center of the map. And you can tell based on where the where the planet is. For example, Solaris here, you can see, is to the left of Terra. And uh, the offline map, I'm pretty sure it's in Steiner space, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, what matters is just that you can see in the inner sphere roughly where it is. So if you're looking for a particular planet to go check out, then you can, you can do that in the Rogue Tech map. Uh, other than that, Sarn is just really cool for, you know, reading about the lore of Battletech. Then for the more practical information, uh, you see here I searched the Rogue Tech wiki for Beagle Active Probe. Didn't work very well. I mean, it does show several mechs that are equipped with it, but if you want to find out about gear, for example, the most recent update that I did, uh, knocked out the tooltips so they're not working properly so you can go to gear and you can actually check out different types of gear such as equipment electronic warfare beagle probe and here it will give you the as current as possible information on what any component does um, you can also, as you saw, if you were paying attention, back, back, back. Um, so all equipment is there. Oops. Uh, weapons, ammunition, internals. So everything is pretty much available under the gear here. And so whenever the tooltips are not working in Rogue Tech, this is a really good resource to have. Um, but the primary purpose of using the Rogue Tech Wiki is this marvelous mech list. So if you've got, for example, let's just scroll down to mediums for fun. Or I guess we could look at the Kit Fox. So let's say you've got parts to a Kit Fox B and a Kit Fox G. And you don't know which one you should try to salvage. Okay, actually, this is a kind of bad example because they're Omnimex, so uh, hard points aren't an issue. But you can see that the Kit Fox B has two double heat sinks in its side torso, Ultra Auto Cannon 10 ammo, uh, Clan Ultra Auto Cannon 10, SRM 6, Medium Laser, Small Laser. And yeah, the it also shows that it as an Omnimech comes with an Engine XL clan, Indo Steel clan, Engine Core 180, and Omnimech Gyro. So those cannot be changed. Uh, the dynamic slots, on the other hand, can be changed. So you can, you know, upgrade. Well, it already is clan, so can't really upgrade the Pharaoh or the heatsink kit, but better example. Let's let's find some inner spear mechs, because uh, that's much more useful. Uh, okay, locust. Let's just say you're uh, gonna salvage a locust for whatever reason, and you, if you've got parts to a 1M and a 3D, you can look and see the 1M has one energy, two missile, two support hard points, whereas the 3M or the, did I say 3D? Whatever. The 3D has one ballistic, two missile, two support hard points. 
and the Locust 3M has five energy, one missile, and two support. And if you click on them, you actually get to see that the Locust 3M here has a two energy, one missile, and one support hard point in the left arm, and two energy in the right arm. As well as one energy and one support in the center torso. And then it also tells you how much structure and armor, as well as the default loadout. So this is a really useful resource whenever you're looking at your salvage list and you're going, I, I don't know which of these I should salvage. I don't know if I should salvage. Uh, let's just go down to the assault. Uh, yes, great example. I don't know if I want to... Wow, taking a while to get there. There we go. Yeah, so there's the Atlas. I don't know if I want to salvage the AS5 hat, for example. And you go, oh, it comes with a Combat Shield 7 tons, Exchanger, ERPPC Pirate, PPZ Pirate. Hmm, this looks interesting. Or if you go, oh, it's got a bunch of pirate stuff, I'd rather salvage, uh, I don't know, the... S. So you look at the S and you go, hey, it's got double heat sinks, you know, it's uh, it's pretty standard. Okay, yeah, let's go for this one then. It's just uh, a resource that's out there. So interestingly enough, if you also just go to Google and you Google, for example, um, let's just say... Da, 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 da. Punchback. Rogue Tech. It'll bring you straight to the wiki. And you can look at just the Hunchbacks. So, Google gets you here. Uh, the gear, vehicles, and mechs are the tabs that are really useful. Galaxy at War just tells you about Galaxy at War. I really wish that... Hmm. You know, I actually never read that. Apparently, online maps and Galaxy at War are two different things. Huh. So yes, conquering planets happens by allying with a faction and then doing missions for them. Huh. Interesting. Whenever the game updates the map, it makes a request to the Arctic server. It updates your local map based on the current state of the war. After each mission, your computer sends the mission results to the server, and that calculates the new map. Huh. That's really cool. Huh. So yeah, again, great place to learn about Rogue Tech. Um, starting mechs. Hmm. Interesting. Wow, so you can actually look at the possible starts and all of the possible mechs that you can get as part of those starts. 
That's another cool thing that I've never checked out. Hmm. I wonder if it would be worth the time to actually make a spreadsheet, well, add to the spreadsheet the different starts and the different possible mechs, but how would I even do that? Hmm. I guess if I were to make one sheet that was all the different starts and the different tables they pull off of, and then if I made a separate sheet for each table saying what mechs were in them. But honestly, that wouldn't work as well as this does already. So for all of those of you who would be interested in a way to identify exactly what you have a chance of starting with, here you go. <laughs> the the Rogue Tech Gamepedia wiki will give you everything you need whenever you click on the starting mechs. That's really awesome. I've never actually used that before. Huh. In any case, <laughs> so advanced guides is something that I will be referencing in the coming weeks. And yeah, I might go through Rogue Tech flashpoints at some point. Um, but primarily my focus with these guides is going to be trying to acclimate newer players to Rogue Tech and maybe pass off some information that more experienced players have struggled with or just weren't aware of. Because I've, I've put hundreds of hours into Rogue Tech and I still come across stuff that I'm just like, wow, I didn't even know this was in the game. So it's it's pretty insane what the what the modders have done, but everything that you could possibly need is right here at your fingertips. Just uh, the roguetechgamepedia.com. I'll put it in the description, and uh, sarna.net again will be in the description. So again, kind of kind of just taking a a quick jab at this with uh, with my first guide of the Monday Morning Guide series, but we will start looking at actual systems again next week. I just wanted to throw this out here in case uh, people don't want to wait for future guides and have a curiosity striking them at the moment, but you can see there's a ton of mechs in Rogue Tech. So if you have a question about something that I haven't touched already, and you can't wait for me to make a video on it, by all means, check out the wiki, see if you can figure it out. Uh, if not, suggest uh, videos down below, and I will consider making a guide about whatever people have questions about, in addition to what I'm already planning. So uh, I think that'll be it for this guide, just a quick little easy one. And starting next week, we'll get down and dirty, diving deep into the Rogue Tech systems. Until then, have a good one.